1960 356 B Coupe 1600 Super. Uh, this is a very high grade uh, driver car uh, with a fresh rebuilt motor. Um, it certainly has its weaknesses, but its drivability um, is uh, superior. Uh, suspension is extraordinarily tight. Uh, motor is brand new. I don't think it has 200 miles on it, and it feels like it. Um, I'll walk you around and show you some flaws and see if uh, I can't show you the beauty of the car and the flaws. But here we go. Um, the first thing we note, I always look at on 356s, are look how good that hood gap is. Even all the way around. The bumper's mounted up correct and straight. To the best of my knowledge, all the panels are original on the car. Uh, the paint looks... The paint looks great in these uh, photographs and this video, uh, but the car is really in need of a paint job, and I'll show you as we walk around. Sits well, has a nice stance. The chrome's real nice on the car. Door gaps are good. Look at the door gaps on that car. Back deck lid gap is good. Chrome again is good. Look at all the pieces in the bumpers, the bumperettes, tail light lenses and uh, surrounds. All good. Uh, the chrome on the window glass, rear window, side windows, front window, all good. Of course, those chrome wheels are spectacular. Um, these these components here are, are a tough piece to replace, so oftentimes you'll see a restored car with pitted um, back uh, chrome, uh, whereas you can see this is very, very good. Now for the flaws on the car, let me get back and show you this side again. Again, uh, I'm pricing this car and representing this car is just a very, very good driver. Something a guy could really enjoy. I mean, really enjoy. You could fly into Nashville and drive it home to the West Coast, East Coast, anywhere you wanted, and it would do it and do it well. So here goes the flaws. Um, paint has many flaws in it. All right, well, here's the worst of the worst. Um, the car has had some work here on the sides and you will see a little bubbling right here and down here. Now I have looked and we'll put it up on the rack. If you go around these wheel well openings, it's pinched metal and we'll show you that when I put it up on the air. Uh, the other thing is the bottom of the door, passenger side. We have got, so there's some bubbles here. Here. And then we have some in here. Now, um, I was a little scared when I first got the car because of this, but you reach back in here and normally rusty cars are full of putty and Bondo and they're this thick. Um, if you reach back in here, this is the, this is the original pinched sheet metal you can feel that ridge going up and down here so it's very thin and not full of putty uh, so i either it's never been worked on here or if it was it was a very light surface so that's the worst of the paint you can see the gaps are very nice a little color to get uh, same here pinched sheet metal all the way around and maybe I should reserve this for when we put it up on the lift and I can show you on the camera again good gaps good hood gaps pinched metal here you can feel the roll no rust in this side you see that good gap that gap is
paint chip. And I believe there was another small bubble somewhere on this door. Here we are right here. And um, when I put it up on the lift, I'll show you the bottoms of the doors. You'll see they're not rusty. They're clean, they're tight, they're tidy. You can still see the sheet metal rolled and pinched. Um, what I mentioned on the passenger side about no body filler, same on this side. Uh, you can feel that line, you can feel that pinched sheet metal through here. Nice door shut, nice cap. Nice uh, rubber seals. They're not dry rotted. Same with the chrome over here. Not dry rotted. Good deck lid gap. Chrome bumperettes are not pitted. They're in nice shape. License plate lights, nice shape. All right, I'll get a couple of cars off the lift and we'll put this one up and then we'll do a drive around, a driving video. The interior of the car is as nice as the car drives. Uh, seats are nice. They've been redone. Look at the nice, they're not pitted. All the chrome is good. Uh, the rails are good. Look at these door jams. There's the original color is this ruby red. These are in nice shape. This is in good shape here. Again, the doors shut nicely. Bump. Gauges are in great shape. Steering wheel's okay. It's not cracked, but it's not the best either. It's the condition of the gauges. How about that old vintage radio? Isn't that great? Headliner looks brand new, as does the sun visors. I don't know if we can see in this light. Nope, we can't. I've taken photographs with flash of the sun visor or headliner and you'll be able to see it in the steel foot. All right, here we are at eye level. Uh, some nice things about the car, the lower valance is there and uh, not damaged. Again, I'm going to bring out the nice chrome on the car, the nice fit, body lines. We're going to walk around at eye level and then I'm going to go ahead and put it up in the air. We talked about on the previous one, we talked about the pinched and uh, pinched welds or pinched sheet metal and how that's not full of putty. Uh, sides are fairly straight, at least this side. The lower uh, trim pieces are there, the rocker panels are good. see again all of these are even and if I could take the wheels off you could feel that rolled sheet metal I don't think the car's ever been in trouble but who knows at this age no appearances if it has all right this side the door is a touch wavy um, I don't know if you can see it in the video, but it's just a little wavy. Certainly nothing uh, to be embarrassed about. I'm just trying to show you the flaws. And uh, there's a good gap, good door gaps. Here's the uh, little rust right here. And then along that door we'll have some. Of course, uh, when the car is on the street and on the ground, the reason you're seeing them so accentuated here is that the lighting from the windows brings them out. And again, if we look back in here, if we look back in here, it's not full of Bondo. And then if I open that door, this is they're pinched both ways. So whatever that is, it's not very deep. Whatever it is, we know what it is. All right, I'm going to go on up with the car bright light on the underside of this uh, pan so that you can see all the flaws and there are some 
Uh, it really could use a set of pans. Uh, this is weak here. You can say I can push that up and down. It's cracked. This jack point is weak. Kind of the typical, typical areas have never been repaired. And then the other jack point is weak also. That's the driver's side floor. This uh, diagonal's in good shape. Looks like the battery box at some point has probably been repaired in its life. Pole hook is still there. Nice uh, brake lines, fresh brake lines, fresh uh, K2 shocks. Nice Veretastein tires. Again, the car is a great driving car, and it's a great looking car. Just don't compare it to other concourse cars. This engine was rebuilt. Um, I'm told it doesn't have more than 200 miles on it, and we do have documentation for the engine rebuild. And it runs extraordinarily well. The bushings in the shifting is tight. The motor always starts and sounds good. And it's strong. It's a uh, 1600 S or 1600 Super motor in it. put the car down that's the ugliest part of the car right there is that floor pan we'll put it down and uh, we'll do a little driving video 